Okay, now let's try to reduce rational expressions to the lowest terms. So let's see. There's 6x to the third power divided by 8x. Now, the way I um, reduce um, fractions is that I always look at the factors. So I, see, I say to myself, well, there's um, a 6 and an 8 here, right? Now, what goes into 6 and 8? What is the greatest common factor of 6 and 8? And, and then I also see, right, variables, right? So I have to find the greatest common factor mm, of x to the third power and x. Right? So if I list all the factors of one uh, of six and eight, right? Let's see. Factors of six. Right? Factors of eight. Right? So let's go ahead. One, two, three, six. Notice that factors are numbers that um, are divisible into 6, right? So factors of 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8, right? So, okay, now what is the greatest number that these two have in common? Ooh, well, they have 1 in common. They have 2 in common. 3, 6, 4, 8, nope. So the greatest common factor is the 2. So it's 2 right here, right? And the greatest common factor, right, of of x to the third, right? And factors of x, right? Are x and x, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end up choosing x anyway. So x here, right? So what we're going to do when we um, reduce something completely is just divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factors. So right here, I'm just going to do it a little bit lower, right? Let me just keep the example. 6x to the third power over 8x. So on the top, I'll divide by the greatest common factor of 6 and 8, which is 2, right? And on the bottom, I'm going to divide by the greatest common factor common factor of 6 and 8, which is 2. And then what do I get? I get 3x to the third power, and then for 8x divided by 2, I get 4x. Am I done? No. Now I have to divide by the, the second one, right here. Divide by x on the top and the bottom, right? And what do I get? What is 3x to the third power? Now look carefully. It's like this. 3x to the third power is 3 times x times x times x. So if we're dividing by x, what happens? We divide by 1x on the top and 1x on the bottom, so it cancels out. And now we're left with 3x times x, which is equal to 3x squared, because we see how many x's? 2x's. Right? And 4x divided by x will be 4. So when we reduce our fraction, it will be 3x squared divided by 4. Or also, you can say 3 fourths x squared 